Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. So last episode, we have been preparing our Cyclops for the adventure of our lifetime. <laughs> We're gonna go and find the Grand Reef, which is, I think, very, very deep. That's why we needed to make this in the first place. And I'm just realizing, like, we don't have a huge amount of power. So I hope we're not gonna run out of that because that would be kind of terrible. I mean, we have everything we need to kind of survive, so we should be fine. I mean, we've got the sea moth. Obviously, we've got the Cyclops, which is our new kind of mother base. And I'm gonna close these doors just because I feel like it. Can I access this thing? That would be pretty cool if I could, but I can't. Uh, so yeah, so we're just gonna go adventuring and hopefully we can find what we're looking for, which is a sea moth fragments. Okay. Um, Space and C for vertical. Oh my god. So C is down? <laughs> Wait, does this thing have a horn? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's... Beep beep, motherfuckers. Beep beep. Captain Dave coming through. Captain Playback coming through. Just step out of the way. Step out of the way. That's so cool. That's so amazing. Oh, I can barely see anything. Hold on, we need to go down. We need to go down. I'm not- I hope I'm- <gasps> Hold on, hold on. Did it talk back? I think it could've. <laughs> that is so cool. See you later, pal. See you later. Take it easy, right? Take it easy. Yep. Exactly. I think he basically told us to fuck off. So I think we'll listen to him. Bup, 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 That was the coolest thing ever, honestly. This game, like, I've been so hesitant to try this game, and it, it makes me wonder right now why. Why was I so hesitant to try it? I mean, it's so good. Awesome. Passing safe depth. Oh, okay, so that's just safe depth. That's fine though. We can go down, right? It's just like if we hit things, they're gonna get damaged. I mean, our welder tool still has a lot of power, I think. So we, we should be fine. Wait, what? Oh my god! Where? Oh god, we're good. We're good. Oh my god. That scared me. Like a lot. Oh, that was way too scary. I don't like that. I don't like that. But it's cool that the, the alarm goes off. It's like a, it's like a set piece for a game or something. <laughs> I'm kind of playing a game, but like for a campaign, like mission or something, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so we have to watch out because this thing is pretty long. Caution. You told me that before. Is this like Cortana, basically? Okay. I think we could actually. We might actually need like a, Warning. a suit. Maximum depth reached. All damage imminent. Wait, really? Emergency. Oh my All god. Wait, so this thing doesn't go as deep as I thought it would. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All integrity restored. Okay, so systems initiated. I suppose it's quite good that I close the doors. Hmm. So this thing goes further than the Cyclops. I thought you need the Cyclops to go to deep places. All systems online. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Are you kidding me? That's probably like the Grand Reef right there. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. I think we need to upgrade this thing then. Because I saw the upgrades for it. Like there's a, an upgrade slot. So you can probably like upgrade the armor and everything. For us to be able to adventure down there. So I might have to check that out. Like exactly what it takes to upgrade this thing. Oh god. I banged it. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh oh shit. Okay, we're good. It's fine. It's fine. 
Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We fixed the problem. Okay. Let's check out the upgrades for the Cyclops. So, you know what? This calls for a Google search. A Google search to find out how to upgrade the Cyclops. So, hold on. How to upgrade Cyclops. So, it seems like we have to go to the mushroom biome, which is kind of close by. So, we're not too far off. Uh, so, we're going to go there and find the whole reinforcement for the Cyclops. Because you need to find some of the, the fragments, some of the schematics that you, you can research. What the hell was that? That sounded nothing like... Oh god. Oh god. Those are hostile, I'm pretty sure. Oh. My. God. This is as big as our ship! Okay, you know what? We're just gonna kind of stay clear of this area for now. <laughs> I am not messing with that at the moment. No way, Jose. No way. I'm pretty sure those are like super hostile mobs that they recently added. So no way am I coming close to that. It could be like one of the biggest mobs as well. Also, you can find an island in this game. I kind of want to get there. Soonish. So that could be our ultimate goal, to set up like a second base where the island is. Okay, we're kind of hitting shallow waters right here. So we kind of have to watch out. I'm pretty sure the mushroom biome was kind of in this direction. Because I rem I've been here before when I was looking for lithium, I think? It could have been lithium. You guys can remind me. <laughs> Possibly was lithium. It was something along those lines. Oh my god, this is gonna be like really hard to navigate through these cliffs and rocks. I reckon we can do this though. Okay, so let's go down. Oh god. Oh, oh hold on. That's it, isn't it? I think so. Okay. So now we can go in with our seamoth and look for the fragments. And hopefully we can research that first soon. I still have, like, stupid knife equipped. So hold on. Let's just go down. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're good. I don't plan on banging into anything. Oh, hold on. Is that it? That could be it. Please. Please tell me that's it. Yes! Okay, good. The pressure compensator, so that means I think we can go deeper now. Oh, hold on, there's another one here. It's probably the same thing, but we're gonna pick it up anyway. Terraformer fragments. I'm pretty sure there was a different one that we can pick up, though. For the Cyclops. Like the steel plate, or whatever that thing is called. I'm sure I saw that on the wiki. So hold on, we're just gonna swim around. We've got the Cyclops Pressure Compensator again, and the Terraformer. It seems like it's only the Pressure Compensator and the Terraformer. Hmm. Strange. Oh, hold on. I keep forgetting about my oxygen. Oh, wow. This looks so cool. From down here. I like how they kind of light up everything. It's so cool how it faces downwards, like, if you look at it from the surface, it's like, oh look, it's just like boring discs. Oh god, oh god. We can do this. We can do this, right? We made it. We're in the middle of the ocean. Can I oh wow, wow, it's so far away. Okay, we gotta get back down. And I think we're just gonna get on board of our Seamoth and we can probably research the upgrades for the Cyclops. I'm just gonna find maybe one more fragment or two more fragments just just to make sure this is all we can get. Um, so let's see if there's any around here. That's all lithium, I think. I think that's lithium. I can't remember the names. Hold on, is that a fragment? It is. Good, good, good. Is that, what is that gonna be? It's a terraformer fragment, so we can probably start dropping like a few of those. Because I don't think we need all of them. Is there one more that we can try? 
that's maybe close by that we can see. Oh! Oh no! Oh no 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 no! I'm out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out, homie. Peace out, Holmes. Peace out. I think we're leaving now. I think it's fair to say we're leaving now. I don't care about dehydration. I don't care, Mel. I don't care. I'm gonna call you Mel from now on. Your new name is Mel. Okay, so let's dock this thing. Night approaches. Oh, hold on. Careful now. Careful now. Okay, we did it fine. We did it fine. Good. So I think it's recharging. Um, we can probably dump a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, so what does what does this do? Uh, okay, so does that mean we don't have a research station on board, do we? We should probably make one. Hold on, how how much does it cost to make one? It's probably quite expensive because I don't remember it being expensive. Um, fragment alert is a wiring kit and a computer chip. Yeah, we're just gonna head back to base. To be honest, I don't know why it faces me like the wrong way. Okay, we can probably get to the surface. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Swim on the surface, I think. Oh, yeah. So let's just get back to base. So we can analyze the fragments and hopefully upgrade the hull. So we can go way deeper this time. Because, I mean, if the same th fragments were used for the hull, for the Aurora, then that must, like, withstand crazy pressures. So we should be fine, I hope. We could probably get some batteries as well, so we will try that and possibly think about upgrading the power on this thing. I mean, it would be good to upgrade the power, but it's not really necessary just because if we stack up on batteries, we should be fine for the most part. So yeah, we should be fine. Let's go underwater. We're getting kind of close, kind of close. What is that thing? Oh, that's just... Seaweed glowing. What's that thing called again? I actually can't remember. <laughs> it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad that I can't remember. But I can see the base in the distance now. Plastic ingot. What was that again? I think that was lithium, right? We have plenty of that. I think. <laughs> Let's try. Hopefully. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Hold on. Hold on. Because I just read on the wiki that you can have more than one of these upgrades and apparently if you have all four then you can go down to like 3000 depth just crazy stuff so hold on uh pastel ingot damn it we need titanium ingot we have plenty of titanium right oh i think we can make like a couple of those i don't care i'm gonna die i don't care anymore we're good. Okay, so let's make like two titanium ingots. How do they make titanium ingots? There, it takes ten. I forgot how expensive this bloody thing was. Hold on. So let's take everything that we have. All of our titanium. God, I'm pretty sure I have more on board of the cyclops. So I think we should be fine, right? Uh, so let's. Is there anything in here? Ow! Ow! We're fine. We're fine. He just sneezed. He just sneezed and blood came out. Oh god. Oh god. He did it again. Um, plastic ingot. Plastic ingot. Plastic ingot. So let's make a couple of those. Ow! Again. He's gonna be fine. So let's make a couple of those. There we go. So we're gonna see what the new safe depth is gonna be. Oh god. Just die. Just, just go. Just go with it. Just... Just go with it. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. I don't want him to die, but at the same time, just do it. Just do it. Just go out. Um, oh, we had glass here already. I didn't even realize that. Wait, hold on. Did I just lose what I crafted? No. Turns out, there is a penalty to dying. Which is not the best. I, I didn't even realize that, which is kind of bad. But at the same time, hey, now I know. It's better to actually feed yourself 
than to die. Because I thought, like, there was absolutely no penalty to dying, so it was kind of pointless eating food and everything. Especially when you're, like, close to your base. So, I don't know. Oh, hold on. Let's close that for now. Let's go upstairs. Let's put the upgrades in. Because we have them again. So let's just, hold on. We can put that. Oh, now 400 meters. Now, okay. So we can go down to 600 meters now. Which is pretty good, I would say. I mean, 600 meters, hold on. Grand Reef. Subnautica Grand Reef. Um, Subnautica Grand Reef depth. The depth of the Grand Reef is... Does it say? Um, hold on. It should say summer, right? The Grand Reef, Grand Reef. The depth range is between 400 and... Four, 400? 40 and 450. So we should be fine. Okay. Well, you know what this calls for. We're going to the Grand Reef, boys. We're going to the Grand Reef. So let's set course on the Grand Reef, which I assume is gonna be in this direction. So let's go. This might take a while. So we might put like elevator music on the background as we slowly cruise towards the Grand Reef. Because I, I looked at the map. I'm not sure if this world is like generated every time you start a game or if it's kind of like preset but bits of it are generated uh, because I looked at the map and it basically said that it's kind of around the edges of the map the Grand Reef oh my god oh it's that thing again beep 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 just passing by again you know just just don't mind me it's me Dave the Rave in my infinity ship oh yeah yep he definitely liked that Hopefully we're not gonna bump into that thing again, whatever that thing was. Which was scary. I don't I don't wanna bump into that thing again. That was like way, 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 way too scary for me. What's that thing? We haven't discovered that before, have we? That looked interesting. Sounds these fit oh I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry! I didn't mean to bump into you like that. So we can go really deep now. It's gonna be so cool. Wait, is this the Grand Reef? No, I don't think it is, is it? Caution. Passing safe depth. Wait, passing safe depths, collision will do damage to the hull. Is that for the Seamoth though? Or Cyclops? I didn't read the message completely. It could be either of them. Hold on. I think this is the Grand Reef. Oh my god, I think we found it. Yeah, because I remember those things from the images. Oh yeah. Now we just need to find a fragment and somehow pick it up without like destroying the sea moth completely. So this is gonna be tricky. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Hull damage imminent, okay. So hold on, we need to find a fragment somewhere close to the surface. What is that thing? Oh? Hold on. Is that fragment that I see? Now what is that? Is that like silver? Or something? Hold on, I think we actually have to risk and whip out the sea moth. So let's do this real fast. I think we can do it. So let's try it. I think as soon as we're gonna get dropped, it's like, Oh, you're taking damage. All systems online. Okay, we're still fine. I just hope we're not gonna get attacked by anything. That would be a disaster if we did. Where are the fragments? I see like a bunch of ore and everything, but no fragments at all. Um, oh, hold on. I think that could be it. Let's see, please tell me. Damn it. Thermal plant? I think that could be for the Cyclops, possibly. Right, uh, another fragment around here. I don't see anything at all. Those are all ore, I think. I'm feeling that thing is toxic. 
So I'm not gonna try and get close up to it. Because I don't feel like dying. Because we're pretty close to our goal of obtaining one of these. Ooh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Please tell me there's gonna be like one. Ow, why did you do that? Why did you bang into my ship? Please. Damage is the one thing that I can't be taken right now. What's the health of this? 66%. So, I mean, we're still kind of fine, right? Oh, there's another fragment right there. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, God. We might have to fix it very soon. Please tell me it's the moon pool. Yes! We got it. Okay. I am pretty happy right now. What are these things? Are these, like, pockets of air? I kind of want to break it. As bad as that sounds, can I harvest it? Maybe? No? Doesn't seem like it? Okay! So now that we have what we came out here to do, we can make our way back very slowly. And then once we get back in the next episode, we can probably start making the moon pool so we can upgrade the seamoth and then we can go on our ultimate goal for searching for an island and hopefully set up a second base on the island, which would be pretty amazing. And hold up, I gotta fix this thing, because it's bothering me. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Subnautica. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. So take care and bye, 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 bye.